We'll go back and forth. Hello. So this story takes place during my time at a community college. I had a fairly good time while I was there, little to no issues, until my last semester. One day, I received an email saying that the school was issuing me a refund. Now usually this wouldn't be an issue, except for the fact that I was on a scholarship that gave my tuition, so there was nothing to refund. So I decided to ignore it, thinking that it was sent to me by mistake. The next day, I get the same email again. Then the day after, I get it again, and again, and again. Eventually, a week has gone by, and I've gotten the same email at exactly 8 p.m. every day. So at this point, I've decided that I need to talk to someone and figure out what's going on. So the following week, I went to Cashier's office, and there was only one person behind the counter, an old man that looked like he had seen better days. <laughs> and, and we'll call this guy Gerald. And after waiting a few moments, Gerald called me out to the counter. And after I explained the situation to him, he looked at me as if I had suddenly grown three new heads. And I knew this wasn't a typical ask, but come on, man, I don't want to be here any more than you do. So Gerald sighs, and a snail's pace moves over to his computer. And it was this huge, arduous task. Because how dare I ask him to do his job? <laughs> So I waited a couple more minutes to see if he could figure out why this happened and how to fix it. He then motioned to a, a woman to help, him, oh, to help him, and she comes over and tells me that they've removed the refund. I quickly shut my phone and looked to my account and see that it had, in fact, been removed. I thank her, I refuse to look at Gerald, and I go on about my day. A week or so later, I got an email. Same thing, different day. That the school owed me a refund. And, okay, I know what some of y'all might be thinking. Girl, just take the money and go. <laughs> but, here's the thing. I don't want to get in any trouble with the school by taking money that doesn't belong to me. I just want to finish the semester and get my degree. So I went back to the cashier's office, and guess who was at the counter again? <laughs> now, I'm thinking that maybe I just caught him on a bad day before, and surely this time he will be in a better mood. But as soon as I went up to that counter, I quickly realized that a frown was permanently etched onto this man's face. <laughs> So I remind him of who I am, and I tell him that I received the refund email again, hoping that he would know why this is all happening. He did not. Thankfully, someone else comes up to me and offers some assistance. After explaining the situation again, she goes to my account, sees what's going on, and tells me that there was a malfunction in the system, whatever that means. She then removes the refund from my account, and I hesitantly thank her and leave, hoping that I will never have to step foot in this office again. So after all of that, a couple more weeks went by, and it seemed like the issue had finally been resolved. But then, on graduation day, I got an email. <laughs> thank you. Now, if you thought what happened to me might have been lucky, wait until you hear Angela's story about her being unlucky.